Dr. Walton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find close to 800 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we are the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of The Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, plus the designers of the awesome board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family blog as the Teaching Preparedness Resource of the Week. This video is part two of our series on Mass Casualty Incidents, or MCIs. A mass casualty incident is any event in which your medical resources are inadequate for the number and severity of injuries incurred. Mass casualty incidents, we'll call them MCIs, can be quite variable in their presentation. They might be anything from the aftermath of a tornado or hurricane, a riot, or a terrorist attack. The effective medical management of any of the above events requires rapid and accurate triage. Triage comes from the French word trier, to sort, and is a process by which medical personnel rapidly assess and prioritize injured individuals at the scene. In this way, you do the most good for the most people. Note that we didn't say the best possible care for every individual. In part one, we talked about the five S's of successful triage for MCIs. Safety, sizing up, sending for help, setup of areas, and start, S-T-A-R-T, simple triage and rapid treatment. The first round of triage, known as primary triage, should be fast, 30 seconds per patient if possible, and does not involve extensive treatment of injuries. It should be focused on identifying the triage level of each patient. Although there are no international standards, triage levels are usually determined by color, but could also be remembered by the mnemonic IDME, immediate delayed minimal expectant, ID me. Immediate, red tag. The victim needs immediate medical care and will not survive if not treated quickly. For example, a major hemorrhage or internal bleeding. This person has top priority for treatment. Delayed, yellow tag. The victim needs medical care within two to four hours. Injuries may become life-threatening if ignored, but can wait until red tags are treated. For example, an open fracture without major bleeding. Minimal, green tag, generally stable and ambulatory, the walking wounded, but may need some medical care, for example, broken fingers, a sprained wrist, things like that. And E, expectant, black tag, the victim is either deceased or is not expected to live, for example, an open fracture of the skull with brain damage, multiple penetrating chest wounds. I say tags because there are commercially made smart tags that medical personnel use. You could instead use colored adhesive tape, colored markers, or numbers placed on the forehead. If you use numbers, priority one is immediate, red, top priority, priority two is delayed, yellow, priority three is minimal, green, and priority four is dead, expectant, black. Knowledge of this system allows caregivers to understand the urgency of a patient's situation. Now, it's important to remember that you are triaging, not treating. The only treatments in start will be the control of heavy bleeding, opening airways, and elevating the legs in case of shock. Evaluation and primary triage consists mostly of RPMs, R, respirations or the lack thereof, P, perfusion, the adequacy of circulation, and M, mental status. As you go from patient to patient, stay calm, identify who you are, and that you're here to help. Your goal is to find out who will need help most urgently. Let's go over the RPMs. Respirations. Is your patient breathing? If not, tilt the head back or if you have them in certain oral airway. In mass casualty triage scenarios, the rule against moving the neck of a victim due to the risk of cervical spine injury is temporarily suspended. If you have an open airway and no breathing, that victim is tagged black. If the victim breathes once an airway is restored or is breathing more than 30 times a minute, tag red. If the victim is breathing normally, move on to perfusion, P. Perfusion is an evaluation of blood flow and circulation. So check for a pulse, then press on a nail bed or a finger pad firmly and quickly remove. The color will go from white back to normal color in less than two seconds if circulation is good. This is referred to as the capillary refill time or CRT. If you have trouble feeling a weak pulse, or if it takes longer than two seconds for a nail bed color to return, tag red. If a pulse is present and CRT is normal, move to mental status, M. 
mental status. Can the victim follow simple commands? Open your eyes. What's your name? If the patient isn't breathing excessively fast, has normal perfusion, but is unconscious or disoriented, tag red. If they can follow commands, tag yellow if they can't get up, green if they can. Remember that as a consequence of the explosion, some victims may not be able to hear you so well. It might be easier to remember all this just by thinking 32 can do. More than 30 respirations per minute, more than two seconds capillary refill time, and can do follow command. Now, if there's any doubt as to the category, always tag the highest priority level. Not sure between yellow and red? Tag red. Once you have identified someone's triage level, tag them and move immediately to the next patient unless you have major bleeding to stop. Any one RPM check that results in a red result tags the victim as red. Here's an example of a mass casualty incident. You're in the village market near the border with a hostile group. You hear an explosion. You're the first one to arrive at the scene and you're alone. There are about 20 people down. What do you do? In the comments section below, I've put 10 hypothetical victims for you to triage. What triage level is each one? Would their level be different in an austere setting or a survival setting as opposed to modern times? Find out in part three of this series. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for the range, for that hunting trip, or for disaster settings, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.